Okay, so today we're gonna be scrapping out this VFD setup here. You know, it's a, a variable frequency drive that helps control uh, electric motors. This particular one came out of a industrial sized reverse osmosis system and it went bad and they put it in the scrap. And I paid 10 cents a pound for this. So before we tear this thing apart, let's uh, put it up on a scale, see how much it weighs, how much it costs. Like I said, 10 cents a pound. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there. I can see a lot of copper on the outside. That's what caught my interest. Uh, and there's a lot of, uh, this is all two gauge wire. Um, there's some, there's some other wire in here. That's probably about a eight gauge. Looks like some 10 gauge and just all kinds of wire. Uh, we'll uh, go ahead and start tearing apart and see if we can make some money on this. There she's sitting on the scale. All right, so sitting on the scale and it comes in at 72 pounds. So it's got all the controllers, it's, uh, all the wire, the remote control, some disconnects. It's got all kinds of goodies in there. Okay, let's go ahead and put it up on the table and start tearing it apart. All right, so before we get started working working on our VFD, uh, I did another cleanup around the shop. And as you can see, I had 740 pounds I took in for uh, $44. $44. And uh, most of that was from those boxes off of the, uh, that I got from the auction, the last video I had, the uh, training units. So 740 pounds and that brought us in $44. So we'll go ahead and add that to our collection of money and we'll get busy breaking down that VFD. I guess first thing, let's get these wires out of here. Hey, some good, good stripping wire there.
All right, so we got most of the top off of it. Yeah, it looks like there's a decent size uh, transformer in there and looks like a lot of copper. I don't know how much weight wise, but we're gonna take it apart and get it out. In the front of it. All right, let's keep working. Yep, that's copper. copper so all these inserts in here they're all copper I'll have to break those apart some good chunks of copper in that there's some there's some cast aluminum right here in the front Let me get that off Nice piece of cast aluminum.
and strong glue. There's a piece of aluminum right here that I'm going after, and I'm sure it's all glued together. And it'll blow all the dust off of this. So that's a nice chunk of aluminum right there. So this is our aluminum. Let's set this aside. Yeah, some of these have a little steel insert in there where the screws were held in. Scrapyard don't like that, so I better get those out. So I got a majority of the stuff taken apart. I just got to break this wire down here. Some of it I'm going to strip, like especially these chunks right here, because there's a lot of weight in those. But this little stuff here, I'll probably just throw in my coated wire. All right, so I'll just throw this in the coated wire. So I'm going to go ahead and strip this wire so that I can add it to the weight of the copper, because uh, there's a good amount of copper right here. So I'm going to go, I got some 10 gauge here. It looks like I got some uh, 4 gauge, and then I got 2, 2 gauge. So I'll strip all that and get a weight on that. Okay, so whatever these things are, uh, they're, they're pretty weighty, and I uh, and I scratched them, and you can tell there's copper in those. The whole back plate is copper, and they got some weight to them. There's some smaller ones here. You can tell the copper there. So I broke a couple of them down, and this is what I ended up with, with uh, weight-wise. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh these, and then multiply it by three. So we'll go ahead and stack these up, and we'll go weigh it. Zeroed out, and put them on, and we get a half a pound. So that will be a pound and a half that I can add to my copper when I break those down. All right, so after I stripped all that wire off, I threw it in the box with the bus bars and uh, we're gonna go ahead and weigh that. We zero that out and we have seven and three quarters of a pound. So we can add a pound and a half onto this with those little things that I just showed you that I broke down. So that puts us at nine and a quarter pounds of copper in there. We'll go ahead and weigh up the aluminum that I got out of the VFD. So we're zeroed out and and we come up to 17 and 0.35. 17.35 pounds. 
for aluminum. Now remember, I paid 10 cents a pound for this whole thing and it weighed 72 pounds. I think it was 72, I'll have to go look. So $7.20. All right, so just in the aluminum alone, uh, I you remember I paid 10 cents a pound for this VFD and the aluminum alone I have uh, $10 at 60 cents a pound, it's, that's over $10. So this aluminum paid for it, not to mention the copper. And uh, we'll go ahead and do a final pricing on it and see what I got. Not you know, And I didn't include all the little stuff. Like I still have things over here that I haven't broke down, which I'll break these down because that's worth it. I'll definitely break that down. There's probably a half a pound of copper in that, but these, these units right here, uh, I'm sure that there's some copper in there. And I'll break them down eventually, just not right now. And uh, also had these little, these little guys right here. Uh, it looks like copper, but it's probably steel. Let me just check. Yeah, nope, no magnet stick to them. So those are probably copper too. So we're gonna get a little more copper out of the deal. That's pretty much gonna take care of breaking that VFD down. And uh, let's go ahead and get some final numbers on this and see what we come up with. Okay, so I did the breakdown and the VFD weighed 72 pounds and it was I paid 10 cents a pound for $7.20. Okay, I broke the aluminum down and I had 17.35 pounds at 60 cents a pound, it comes to 1041. And the copper that I had was 9.05 pounds. And right now the price of copper was $3.40 a pound for a total of $30.77. And those two added together is $41.18 minus the $7.20. And you come to a grand total of profit is $33.98. Now this doesn't include any of the, the steel that I took to the scrapyard or uh, those, those breakers. So... I'm guessing at least 35 bucks. It'd be safe to say I made $35 on this. And it probably took an hour and a half to break those down. And I, and I probably got another 15 minutes of work left to break these down. So hour 45 minutes, uh, I'm happy with that. That's, that's pretty good, pretty good deal for me. I do have some things coming up that I got at auctions. And right here's a preview of it for probably what my next video will be. Um, right here. So, I gotta get busy working on this stuff so I can get to the scrapyard and get paid. Thanks for watching.